Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at something called the GCD and LCM product. We have this useful theorem that shows us that for any two non-zero whole numbers, A and B, the GCD of A and B times the LCM of A and B should be equal to the product of A and B. This can be super useful if we know either the GCD of the two numbers and want to know the LCM or vice versa. So let's use this idea to find the GCD and the LCM of 120 and 44. Well, let's say we want to start by finding the GCD. We could use the Euclidean algorithm to do that. I want to point out that this is not the only way to get to the GCD. Maybe you want to do the prime factorization method, and that's great too. If we're using the Euclidean algorithm, then GCD of 120 and 44, because 120 can be written as 44 times 2 plus a remainder of 32, is equivalent to the GCD of 44 and 32. Repeating this pattern, we can get down to the GCD of 8 and 4, which is 4. So by Euclidean algorithm, we have that the GCD of 120 and 44 is equal to 4. Now, using the GCD and LCM product, we know that that GCD of 120 and 44 times the least common multiple, or LCM, of 120 and 44 should be equal to the product of 120 and 44. Well, we found the GCD to be 4, and certainly we can multiply 120 times 44 to get that 4 times our least common multiple is equal to 5,280. To solve for our least common multiple, we would divide both sides by 4, leaving us with our least common multiple of 120 and 44 being 5,280 divided by 4, or 1,320. Alright guys, this has been our video on the GCD and LCM product. Until next time, we'll catch you in a future video.